Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Brett, here with my wife Nicole and our four lovely children, Maverick, Maxton, Malachi, and Michaelin. We love going out in the outdoors and camping and having a great time. Here's our converted schoolie bus. Here's our travel trailer. Here's our pop-up camper. And sometimes we even get cabins. We really enjoy going to the mountains, especially going out to Case Cove, where his pictures come from. Get out on the water and do some fishing from time to time. Love camping. Please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. All right, this year for Mother's Day, we got Nicole a bike motor for a bicycle. So it's gonna start off for our bike series. I have already built two, one for me, one for Maverick. Nicole's is different. Hers is a four stroke and it works off uh, friction on the back. So here's, here's the kit. I haven't opened up yet. Get the clutch and everything you need to mount the motor. We'll go through that. And then you got the engine here. So I'll do the unboxing on all of it. Put it all together and let y'all see how it looks. Here's a little four stroke engine here. Clutch, set of controls and stuff for it. That's onboard gas tank and oil. All right, so the bracket here goes behind the below the seat. Here are the two lock and load brackets here. Here's the keel switch. There's your handles, throttle handle, rear handle. There's a conversion kit to put it all together. Here's the other other side of the clutch. And here's your friction wheel. It turns against the wheel right here. And it comes with a little spark plug wrench and spark plug wrench and tune-up set. And instructions for the motor. Maybe for the whole kit. Who knows? Here. Cool so it doesn't come with a throttle cable, the adapters, and all your hardware. All right, got dark on me last night, so I couldn't record the rest of this. This is a wise bicycle. Almost all my mess I got packed in my garage here. Margaritaville bike, three speed with a center hub. And that's why I couldn't do the same engines on hers, so on mine and Mavericks. But, took the seat off of it. Here is our little luggage rack. Had to cut that bad boy off, so you can see where I cut it off at with a grinder. Because it has to go away for this bike to work. And of course the fender also had to go. So that's what you're left with. It's right there. So I have to throw a little bit of shade out of parts I had yesterday. I was showing all the parts. Bike berry was nice enough. There's another reason why it got dark on me. To make a little mistake here. Which mistakes happen. But these four bolts right here that attach the motor to the friction drive assembly were gone. This little nut coupling here was gone. And these two nuts here were not in my kit. Also, there's supposed to be a, another fuel tank that was not in the kit, that's not there. And there's supposed to be a long bolt to go across the top of it. And that's not in the kit. But luckily, I have the long bolt already. I have a bolt I can make work. So, beware. You're probably going to pay this much money. I say too much money. The other kits were $120. This kit was $230. $230. So, it's about $100 higher for this kit. And um, other kits I had no problem at all. I came with everything plus extras. This one so far has already cost me about eight bucks. So we'll see. Plus a trip to town. So here's the friction drive right here. Mounted the motor has a little hub that comes with it that you put in place. And inside here, you can see I had to modify up some bolts. It takes four bolts to bolt to it. Well, every bolt I had was too long. So that's what I bought new bolts for. So first step is get that bolted up. So I got the four bolts installed here. So now the friction drive is now part of the motor. It's got a clutch inside out there. And hopefully everything will be going good from there. It's got a little clutch behind this cover. Come pre-installed. I just put this hub in here. Bolt it up. Let's go on to the next part. I showed a little sneak peek of this part while I go. So after I moved the luggage rack and all, you had to bolt this in. It's got a bolt plate on the bottom 
and three bolts. These bolts were actually in the kit, actually, so it was good to go. And this little piece here mounts right below the seat. And then these two mount the wheel mounts out on both sides. So Holds the motor up. You had that took care of there. Okay. So got spacers in there, and again, this is my bolt, a little long, but I'm gonna trim them down, make one knee. So here's the other part I had to go buy here, this guy here, these two nuts to make this side. I suppose to have a little jam nut here to come with it on here, but with the spacers it wouldn't work. So I made my own spacers. Maybe this block here should have been longer. This is the only one they had available at the hardware store. So how this thing works is you raise it up and down. Now it's in the up position to drive the moat the bike. You drop it down and you use this lock here to lock it in position, up or down. So I had it locked in the up position now to hold it up. So I can let it run, I'll give you a little clip of it running and then we'll go to the next step. Ready to go. Of course I cut it off. Alright guys, I can't tell where to buy the bike motor at, but old bike bear is putting it on my ass. So, you see it's broke here. Look, way down here in the bottom, you can see how shiny it is down here in the bottom? Where they send you this adapter to adapt it to your motor. Well, this adapter here is not the right size. My bolt heads, not even the clutch, were hitting down the bottom of the clutch sprocket. To broke the clutch sprocket. Hadn't, hadn't even rode about it, hadn't even finished the installation yet. I got the motor all apart again for the 50th time. Got a bicycle wall, put the gas out, ain't got the handlebars, took off or nothing yet. Just trying to get it done. But still a long way away, it looks like. Got away on parts of the California again. All right, we'll continue on this video here from a couple of days now. So I got on the phone with Bike Barry and talked with them about this thing. And uh, finally, after several phone calls and pictures and emails, finally got the parts coming, which would be a new one of these. Still didn't understand me about my bolts, but I went and bought my own bolts, got bolted up, which you seen that earlier. Um, still haven't cut this here off yet, still long. But down in here, the bike don't fall over, it's a clutch. You can kind of see a little bit of my welding there. Kind of hard to see. I had to make spacers. So I got a bolt here, a bolt here. And down at the bottom is flat washers. So we know what happened up happening in, and the reason why it's messed up is this shaft back here that drives the wheel is put together wrong it's on an angle they machined it wrong when they made it so they're sending me a whole new one clutch and all but i want to get this thing working we want to let the wife ride the bikes with us so got it all worked out me and marisha went and test drove it just took the cable worked the cable here's the keel wires here so now we're going to test all that out we're back clutch working like it's supposed to now so I gotta trim this off. You can see my mark here. I'm gonna trim this so it won't get in the way of the wide seat. There in the cold seat cause it's in a cold seat because it's been away. If we're using the lowest hole and cut that, clean that up. I'm gonna round these edges off here with the grinder. They didn't say nothing about all this, but I'm doing this to make it more user friendly for us. Then I'm gonna strap the cable up through here. This is not long enough. So I gotta lengthen this so I can get back the motor to kill wire. And this is not long enough either to go down to the bottom like I wanted to, but I got it. So on her bike, I moved the gears forward. Uh, and the brake is not on here right now. I actually broke the brake the other night during testing. So I gotta get her a new rear brake. I'm gonna put it back here. And got her throttle all hooked up. Kill wire. So she's good on this wire thing up here and she'll be ready to roll. So we're getting there. Doesn't look so bad with the back fender all missing now with the motor on top of it. Well, it's been a little bit of time since I recorded the last parts of this series. Finally got the parts from Bikeberry. Still running the same deal. While waiting on the parts, I finally give up and I went in there and welded it on both sides. And since then, it's been working really well. But I did get the parts in, so I will be able to change those. So, the update since the last time you've seen it, the back fender. I got it on there now. And what I did was, is I cut it right where the the motor actually goes down the tire, and I put the front portion on and the back portion on. I had to kind of modify it, of course. But what was happening was dirt was kicking 
off of the off of the uh, drive part that you can see in here the drive part right there at the back dirt was kicking off of it right there dirt was kicking off of it and kicking all over Nicole so since we've done that now we're gonna we can go down dirt roads as well but a little bike runs good we you know uh, I've yet to get the luggage rack back on. That's the other thing I want to do is modify the luggage rack, luggage rack put back on there. Or get our different luggage rack. We take the bikes and go fishing and stuff with them. But I'm going to do a little driving with it. Uh, let's see. Got the front brake back on it. Got that back. And you do have to drill a hole here for the kill switch to kill it, to ground out. Got it run. Had to lengthen the wire. You can see, put some tape on that. Lengthen the wire and bring it over to the engine. The engine does pick up and down on this aft brass here. So you bring it down, push down on it, and it locks onto the tire, then lock it. Now you're ready to drive with the motor down. You want a freewheel, you push that back down, raise the motor up, and you freewheel. So it does put some resistance to it. The other thing I had noticed, it puts more weight on this side. If I have noticed it falls a lot. So what we do when we store it, I got a little board I put up under the bottom up there to kind of level it up a little more. And that seems to really help out with uh, keeping from falling because the front will turn around. But anyway, great little bike. I didn't talk about the full cost in the last video either. So to sum all this up, bicycle costs about 220 bucks from Walmart. The kit, the motor kit was 200 and some dollars. They still have yet to send me another tank that's supposed to go right there that you'll see on the other bikes is how they're supposed to be set up. So all she's got is this little small tank like you'd have on a weed ear. So it's about a quart, maybe a little less than a quart. So she runs out quite often, so we have to haul fuel for her, um, where me and Matt don't have that problem with our bikes. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll do the driving test next. All right, we already got it warmed up here now, so hopefully she'll fire right up. Looks good. So I think we'll keep up motor. You ready to go? Get the kill switch, cut her off. Got Merrick testing her out for his mama. See, you let go of the gas, you pedal, and go again. <laughs> 